What's up, my dudes? Ah, this is too good, boys. We got the new track editor gameplay for MXGP 2019, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure this whole gameplay trailer type thing, whatever the hell it is, first came from a dude named Kraken or some shit. And then Wyndham went in there and kind of made a video over it here recently. And... I'm not actually showing that exact gameplay because I don't want to get any sort of copyright going here. So I basically made my own little mock-up here in Supercross 2 of pretty much the same exact track of what is in that MXGB 2019 track editor. So it's the same thing, man. I mean, it's not that much different of a track at all. But basically in uh, Wyndham's video, right... Uh, I commented down below on it and I was like, dude, don't be afraid to give him a little Spitzer Turley every once in a while. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't be afraid to go a little Spitzer Turley on him. Like, uh, basically, you got to go see that video to know what I'm talking about. But when him got in there and he was looking at that, that new track editor in MXGB 2019, he was like, oh, I don't know about this because it's, it's pretty much completely flat track, right? Pretty much no pre-made ruts, no elevation change. All the custom track pieces look pretty much exactly the same from Supercross 2, right? And he got in there he's like, oh, I don't know about it, dog. He's like, come on, Wyndham, just give it to him, bro. Say it like you want to say it. Quit holding back, dog. Like, we all know this is some bullshit. Just say it, dude. It's just, it's, it's, mind baffles me sometimes when it, when like a YouTuber, it's like they, they care so much about not losing a single subscriber that they almost can't even like voice their actual opinion on something or they almost can't even say what they really want to say. It's like, it's really bizarre. It's like they try to, if they have anything remotely negative or neutral to say about something, it's like they completely surround that with 5,000 other positive things to say about that certain thing. So it's like they can kind of say something negative without people getting upset about it. You know what I mean? In a way. And uh, that's basically what Wyndham did there. He was like, saying, oh, I don't know about this new track editor, dude, but I love that track editor Supercross 2. I really thought it was great for that game, and but oh, I don't know about this. <laughs> Come on, Wendell, just say it, dog. Give them a little Spencer Turley action. Uh, they need it at this point. Like, goddamn, dude. I mean, shit. <laughs> like, it's just like, man, you gotta, I don't know. That's just something that, that's always kind of frustrated me a little bit about some YouTubers. It's almost like they, they care more about not losing a sub than being real about something. And it's just like, man, we know what you're thinking deep down. Just say it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, dog, you know, I've been doing this since the jump. Like if I think something about something, I couldn't give two shits about what kind of hate I'm going to get off of it. What kind of backlash, whatever the hell it is. I don't care. I'm going to say it. Because it's what I mean. It's what I really want to say. I don't want to look back and be like, you know what? I really thought this, but I was holding back and da 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 da. Like, no. I mean, even Wyndham goes in there and says, um, you know, man, like, where the hell's all of the pre made roughness in this new track editor? Pre made ruts. Like, where? Like, that'd be cool to have pre made ruts. Where the hell's all the elevation change? Like, you know, why is the track so flat? It, it literally is basically just the Supercross 2's editor in a outdoor environment that's all it is guys i mean seriously and i i've always said this about uh you know the milestone game to sub but basically whatever kind of expectation you have for a motocross game just cut that in half for any milestone motocross game and you'll be pretty much satisfied right <laughs> like whatever kind of expectation you think you know this motocross game probably should have this or it should have that whatever cut all of those expectations in half and that's a milestone game for you so you know you, you go in there and it's it's like literally as bare minimal basic of a outdoor motocross track editor as you could possibly have that's what it looks like to me from that that sort of early gameplay of it. I mean, when I'm saying it's exactly like what I'm riding on right now, it's exactly what I'm riding on right here, right now in this gameplay I'm showing you on Supercross 2. It's pretty much the exact same thing as this. Like, I cannot believe. <laughs> I mean, I just can't believe it, dude. It doesn't surprise me, but I was, I was even expecting more out of Milestone from that. It's like, damn, dude. I don't know. It, and then that's that's why you have to get so ranty and really voicing your opinion, really saying something, or they just don't change anything. It's like, 
you just continue to get the same old, same old over and over and over. It's like, dude, at some point they're going to have to realize, man, that that's not cutting the cheese. You know what I'm saying? That's not doing it for us. Like, I, I, I just, I don't know. But uh, it's really bizarre. I mean, that's something that YouTubers do, though, man. It's like, <laughs> I saw a way to do it. He's like, he was, he was trying to do everything he could not to hate on Milestone, not to rant on Milestone. But he just, he couldn't do anything other than say what it, what it was. You know what I mean? Like, he just couldn't. I mean, it's just, it's to the point where it's so pitiful. You can be the biggest Milestone hater, biggest whatever, or biggest Milestone lover, Milestone fanboy, whatever it is. It doesn't matter. It just is what it is, dog. Like, and I've been saying this for four or five years now about Milestone, or three or four years, basically, um, you know, way back in the day. I've been saying all this, and it's funny because it's like I can recognize the way things are going to be way before most people can. I mean, I, I understand how things are way ahead of time. So back in the day when I was saying all this, I got a lot of flack, a lot of hate, a lot of backlash because... It was so far back there before people really understood what was going on with it. But now it's like people are really starting to see what the hell I was saying, you know, three, four years ago. Now it's like, oh, damn, all those things Spencer Turley was saying about these milestone games. It's all it's all starting to, you know, rear its ugly head like it's starting to be so apparent now. It's like you can't miss it now. You know, it's just, dude. <laughs> and even the bigger YouTubers, you know, I went down through there and looked at some of the comments on Wyndham's video, and it was like, Wyndham, you can say what you want to say. You can criticize the game. Like, don't be scared to criticize the game, dude. Like, yeah, you're going to get some hate. You're going to get some backlash. Who gives a shit? At least you're being honest about it, you know? It's just like, man, I don't know. I I've always been one of those kind of YouTubers that I care a thousand times more about being truthful and honest and giving you guys my full opinion versus not losing a subscriber. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'll lose 100 subscribers and be real about something versus keep 100 subscribers and be fake about something or sugarcoat something or kind of hold something back from you or whatever. Like, I'm never going to do that. I'm just going to say it because it needs to be said. Like, that's that's what I'm getting at here. It, that stuff needs to be said. People like Wyndham need to come out and really voice the opinion on that. And he did say quite a bit. I mean, you know, he did he did come out and say quite a bit, but he was just very, very hesitant, right? It was like, oh, I just, I don't know. I mean, I love that truck editor in Supercross 2. I think it's really good for the game. And I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe this is not as bad as it's going to be and da-da-da-da. But uh, I just, oh, I don't know, man. It's so flat, like tracks so flat i would expect more elevation you know <laughs> like just say it bro just say it that's all i ask just say what your mind's actually thinking is that too much to ask i mean am i is it just me or is like what you can tell it's what he's wanting to say and think and do but he's like he is so not lose the sub over everything in hell the guy's got damn near 100k subs what can i say he's making way more money than my ass but it is what it is i i don't know I guess I just have more of a, you just got to say it like you mean it, man. Stand up for what you believe in, no matter the consequence, right? There's, there's a certain, you got to have that, but most YouTubers just don't have that. I mean, that's just the, the honest to goodness truth of it. They'll say something, they'll voice their opinion every once in a while, but it's in a weird, like I'm saying, weird neutral, they kind of disguise it in between 35 other positive things to say about whatever it is they're saying negative about something so then even if they were having somebody that completely disagreed with their negative opinion they said so many positive things that it don't really matter anyways right it's kind of like they get the best of both worlds in a way like they can say something negative but not lose a subscriber it's really weird like i don't know a lot of youtubers do that but either way man that track editor i don't know boys there's supposed to be three or four different uh you know, environments or whatever, but it doesn't look like there's going to be any placing objects, placing trees, placing anything. It's the same top-down editor from Supercross 2. Hell, it don't even look like there's all that many different pieces at all, and that's something Wyndham said in his video. It looks like the same damn track editor, as far as the pieces even. Even down to the nut-cutting pieces side of it, right? It's like, there's not, like, motocrossy style tabletops or dips or elevation or anything like that motocross style pre-made ruts or 
any of it. There, there's literally looks like there's none of that, unless we were just seeing a completely cut down version or a, and that is possible. I mean, I will say that that, that is possible that that was just on that certain track and there will be elevation adjustments on it. Uh, you know, that different track, that little in the hills, whatever environment track, whatever the hell it is. Right. Um, you know, there could be that, but I don't, I just don't see it. I mean, you, you would think you would see a lot of that in that early, gameplay of the track editor right like you'd think they would show off like the new stuff or whatever it is but it's just not really the case at all like at all bro um literally it's just you took the supercross 2 track editor took out the stadium and put like you know some trees and stuff in the background like like a mxgp pro um you know compound area background what it looked like to me is it literally looked like you were creating, you know, the little super, the little default supercross tracks on MXGP Pro. It looks like that's what you were making in a motocross game. It literally looked like you were making like a supercross track in a motocross game. And that's got some very detrimental potentials to it because you, you, you don't want your motocross game track editor to, to feel like it can only make supercross tracks on it, right? I mean, there's there's just some motocross tracks are a whole different animal, and Milestone's not going to be able to get away with this. Let's just kind of throw this track editor in there, man. I'm just oh, this ain't looking good, boys. This is not looking good. Been saying it from the jump. I mean, hell, how can you expect them to have, you know, a, like a pre-made rut maker thing in their track editor or pre-made rut pieces and stuff in their track editor when they don't even have that in the actual fucking game? They don't even have inside pre-made ruts in the actual default MXGP tracks of the game. We've already seen it. <laughs> they're, they're flat tracking on their own motocross game. So it's like, you can't even expect there to be pre-made ruts. Oh, God, dude. It's so bad. It's so bad. Is it bad or bad? It's it's worse than bad. Like, shit. It, it is not, not looking too dandy at all. Um... You know, and they don't even really have a whole lot of pre-made roughness and braking bumps on their default tracks. How the hell can you expect them to have a, like a braking bump or acceleration bump custom track piece? They're not going to have it. It's not even in their base game. Like, you know, ruts going up a jump phase. There's not going to be any of that shit. Um, I mean, there's just not. And hell, you could even argue they don't even really have a whole lot of bigger, like, motocrossy, you know, 100... 100 to 150 foot tabletop jumps in their default motocross game they don't have any big jumps like that so a lot of their customization pieces literally are probably just going to be copy and pasted from supercross 2 i mean that that's what they're do. they always do the bare minimum guys and and on top of all that let me just give you a little reminder this track that track editor should have been an mxgp pro right so it's like you would think it would be now, since they, you know, they had it in the first Supercross game, and then MXGP Pro came out after the first Supercross game, so you'd think, you know, you put in a track editor in your first Supercross game, you would have a track editor in your next motocross game. No, they didn't have it in MXGP Pro. Then they have it in Supercross 2, and now it's like they can't not have it in MXGP 2019 from all of us ranting, what the hell are you doing? You got to have a track editor in your motocross game, right? Since you have it in your Supercross games for the past two years. So then they're putting a... a uh, track editor in their motocross game you would think they would go all out with it I'm talking elevation dips down in the ground full-blown elevation change rut pre-made rut designs all over the place like i would expect at least 30 or 40 different rut pieces and braking bump pieces and i'm talking you would think they would go all out with it right since they didn't even have a track editor in the last motocross game that they should have had a track editor in but no it's the bare minimums dog it's, it's literally the bare minimums. You know how fucking boring that's going to be, sitting there riding on a flat track like this, just over and over and over. Whew. I hope some of their other environments are a thousand times better, and I hope there's way more custom track pieces. Hey, see what I'm saying about they need to delay their game? <laughs> you see what I'm fucking saying, dog? Uh, is it all starting to make sense to you now? Oh, Spencer Turley, that hater, he's just a hater. He's so bad for the motocross community. Oh, shit. Oh, well, now that all you guys are saying all this shit I was saying four years ago, just, just you know, I just want to remind you, who who said it first? Who did it first, baby? I was saying all this shit way back there, way back there. MHGP2, I was saying, where the hell's the pre-made ruts? Where the hell's the 
you know, pre-made roughness. Why does, why does my bike not ever get out of shape on any little speckle of roughness ever or any whoop or any roller? My bike never, never moves. Just hold it wide open. There's no skill gap. Said that back in MXGP2, bro. Been saying it. I mean, <laughs> there's literally just like no more words for it, dog. But, you know, just funny, man. It's funny what an official title can do for a game. I mean, people just lose their shit. Official title combined with graphics. Oh, God. You don't even need anything else, man. Official Supercross game with amazing graphics or official MXGP motocross game with amazing graphics. That's all you need, I guess, nowadays. Shit. Nobody even cares about gameplay or true track design or any of that shit. What you're actually doing in the game. People don't give a shit. It's like... It just makes no sense. It literally makes no sense. And then they say, I rant too much. I hate too much. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> and then now you got literally one of the biggest motocross YouTube, the biggest motocross gaming YouTuber out there. He can't help but say all the shit I've been saying about it. Can't help but say negative shit about it now. Even though he was really hesitant on it, he still said it, right? So it's like, I mean, there you go, dog. What, what else? What else do you want from me? Like, what else is there? What else more do I have to do? I mean, shit. This is it, dog. Like, either way, that new track editor, she's looking disappointing. She's looking bare bones. She's looking basic. She's looking minimalistic. What you come to know and expect and hate from Milestone is what it is. I mean, what else more did we really think? <laughs> I mean, seriously, like, that, that's they're known for this at this point. Um, but either way, is what it is, I guess. I don't know. We should have to see how it all is when it comes out, but from the early gameplay, the early little scrub whip system I've seen, the early, uh, you know, track editor gameplay I've seen, everything I've seen so far, ain't nothing's impressed me yet, right? Nothing's even, I mean, it's just, it's so bare bones, so, so standard, so, you know, 10% improvement over the last... Uh, motocross game it's it's just so not what it needs to be at all um oh by the way here's another little tip milestone you know you need to not only delay your game but then make it 30 bucks instead of 60 bucks there's you another big big tip for you right there um that'll shave off a lot of the hate for it but if it's another 60 dollar game and it comes out like that whoo buddy shoo buddy <laughs> oh god uh I, I mean i really think this is going to be the game that breaks the milestone camel's back you know what i'm saying i really think it is if it's what it's looking like it's going to be uh, or even remotely like that i think that's how this is going to be the end the the start of the end of milestone right here um i mean honestly that's what i feel like so either way appreciate all the support boys i'll be back on the next one don't forget if you guys will follow me up on instagram snapchat twitter Go add me on Steam, any of that kind of stuff. My username is just Spencer Turley, no space, no capital, and I'll add you back on all that. So, yeah, dudes, uh, having a lot of fun coming here and making these videos. I'm back, baby. Oh, God, just waiting on that moment, you know. Oh, man, it's like, damn, got to be real over everything else. I mean, when it all comes down to it, that's what matters. That's what matters at the end of the day. Are you saying what you really mean? Are you really speaking your mind? Or are you sugarcoating to keep a subscriber? What are you doing, YouTubers? Just think about it. Think about it. Like, come on, dog. Have have some, like, personal respect and sanity to yourself a little bit. You got to have more of that. Uh, a subscriber, I get, it it's, means a lot. I get it, okay? It means money. It means fame. It means everything, in a way. But there's there's a point there where you're you're gonna you're gonna seem like a fake ass motherfucker if you if you continue to do that right if you continue to sugarcoat and not really say what you mean and and disguise your negative opinion on something with five other positive opinions about something around it so it doesn't really look like you're being negative about it all these little things like you look fake doing it that's what you look like i'm just saying so either way appreciate you guys watching all the videos later dudes